A sloop is much like a truck. When it crashes, it always gets stuck. It smells like a barn, hauls livestock from farms, and it's a wonderful place to f- Your hearties, Captain Falcor here on your number one stop for Sea of Thieves new speculation and general rambling. Hey peeps, Falcor here. So the sloop in Sea of Thieves is a strange beast. A real life soup of the same era took on a much different form. The sloop that we see in game is far similar to the real life ship known as the Coke. Yes, Coke. That is how it's actually pronounced. Don't get any ideas. You dirty little ferret. The Coke was a special type of small one or two mast wooden sailing ship designed and used in Russia for transporting voyages in icy conditions of the Arctic seas. Although this ship was from a different era and a completely different part of the world, it's the closest in shape and dimensions to the in-game sloop. But we're not here to talk about this ship, we're here to talk about our beloved sloop. In the game the sloop has a main deck, a captain's cabin, and a lower deck, essentially making it a three-decked ship. It has two cannons either side and a single mast square rigged sail. Square rigged sails, although quite common for the era, were very rarely used on smaller ships, mainly due to the crew maintenance involved and the overall weight of the rigging. Sloops tended to use a style of rigging called a Bermuda rig, which was basically a large mast in the middle and two triangular sails either side rigged to the hull. This cut down the need for a horror horizontal spar, that's the cross-section piece of wood at the top of the mast, which would limit the weight of the ship. Also this sail configuration gave better overall speed no matter which direction the ship was turned, which was useful for smaller crews. If the sloop in game had a Bermuda rigging compared to a square rigging, it would look something like this which personally I think looks far superior to its current configuration. But uh, I guess that's down to opinion. The real life sloop however of the same era took on a completely different form. The USS Providence is probably the closest real world sloop for the 1800s similar to that of the one we have in game. But even then it is vastly different. The USS Providence was a sloop of war in the Continental Navy. The ship took part in a number of campaigns during the first half of the American Revolutionary War before being destroyed by her own crew in 1779 to prevent her falling into the hands of the British. Sloops of the 1800s were sought after by pirates, mainly because they could be manned by a relatively small crew. They were fast and needed little maintenance, and they could carry up to 18 cannons at once. Sloops also came in an array of configurations, some having up to three masts similar to the galleon we have in game, but still only having one deck, mainly used for the crew. Pirates and naval officers loved to trick out their rides in an array of different ways, much like the boy racers of present day. Disclaimer, boy racers, you are not pirates, you are idiots. Thank you. A sloop would on average have a crew of up to 25 people, who would be crammed into small sleeping quarters no bigger than the average front room, which is all vastly different to the sloop we have in game. Can you imagine having to be responsible for 25 players on one sloop? Mother trucker! That'd hurt like a butt cheek on a stick. Sloops still exist to this very day. In fact, the average yacht you see cruising around your local seaside town is in fact classified as a sloop. They're one of the only ship classes that uses sails that are still used to this day. However, they're not piloted by pirates, usually sailed by poncy and middle-aged men who have replaced their tired and lacking manhood with something that'll stay firm and rigid in wet places forever. Giggity giggity, giggity goo, stick around. Thank you. 